OK, day nine of Chocolate Lego Chocolate Star Wars Advent Calendars. We have Poundland Chocolate, Lego Lego and Marks and Spencer's Chocolate. And without further ado, let's try and find the nine. Which is there? Well, I'm discovering it helps to do these awake, doesn't it? Or maybe it's just the fact that a white number on a black background is easier to find. Take note, other numbers, other days, other windows. Ah! Darth Vader there. One of my favourite Vaders of all time. In fact, one of only two Vaders I could possibly name. I'm not even sure the other one's a real person. Yeah, maybe I'm not that awake. Ah! Uh, the robotic, ro uh, robotic Robin of Endor. Yes. Comes along in the middle of the night to steal Ewok's souls. He is their version of death. Or at least we can but hope after yesterday's minifigure. I'm going to be a bit sneaky. I did slightly cheat and have some nice chocolate before starting this. So it'll be interesting to see how that differs my opinion today. And my opinion is, that's still not bad. There's not a lot of it. It's interestingly not Star Wars shaped, but no, it's not bad. Well done Poundland and other places. I have seen that elsewhere, I'm sure. But I did get it from Poundland for a pound. Unlike some of the things they do, which aren't a pound. Now, you see, you can place your white nine on a slightly black background, but when you put it surrounded by white, not quite as easy to find. And <laughs> we have the quarterback of the Stormtroopers Elite Guard. We shall call him Fred. And he is guarding, or about to throw in the air. I'm not sure how hand egg works, I must admit. He is guarding... I'm going to stick with the Ewok theme from yesterday. And say that it's the Ewok's bogeyman. This is what the Ewoks have for a Sandman. My god, that is actually terrifying me. What is going on? I... It's, it's holding a time paddle from Red, Red Dwarf. Okay. Oh no, oh no, maybe it's not Ewokie. This is what happened to Dave Lister when he wired the batteries in the wrong way. And you won't have an eye... An iota of clue what I'm talking about there, most of you. But I do. And that's what matters, because I'm the one videoing this. I did forget to mention the rum. I think now is an opportune moment, because so far the calendars have not been good today. I still can't get on with this chocolate, which is my fault. I'm sure it is not the chocolate at fault there. So, door nine. Being guarded by the Jawa. And not you, Wok. I have to be careful not to tear the box on this, because that would be quite frustrating. Oh, um, battered jower. And, ta-da! A bag of bits. Which bits? Who knows? Exciting bits? Mm, I think not. Alright, I'll be back when I've attempted to put this into being something. Maybe even the thing it's supposed to be, but I make no promises. Well, there's a thing. I couldn't actually tell you what the thing is, but it is a thing. I think it's another Ewoky thing, a sort of oil barrel catapult. Yeah. So, keeping up the tradition of the previous eight days, the rum. Celebration or commiseration? You can already guess, can't you? Oh yes. If only those barrels were rum barrels, it might not have been quite so disappointing. Ah, oh, Ewoki. So what do you think of it? Yes, that's where it came from. No. And that's where it should go. Ooh, it was a clever little dagoo.